Oh, we need it. Hey, boys, we are back with another tier list. It's, it's still reverb. You need to mute yourself in the other zoom in the in the oh, in the oh, zoom right. in. Alright, you did fixed. The issue we are good. It's fixed. It's fixed. It's fixed. I can hear you clearly now. Hey guys, no today we are doing the tier list. It's been over a year too, so uh, yeah. It's been over a year since me and Josh have actually used the voice, so uh, I don't know if anything's changed. Today we're going to be ranking chapters 1 through 6 of the third series. Because, uh, you know, chapter 6 just came out yesterday and we want to celebrate that, hey? So why not do that with a tier list? Yay! Welcome to tier list nonsense. Josh, please do not, if you don't mind, I would recommend you reading the tier list to our audience. I guess... If we can exist, then we can just read the tier list and it will be randomness. It will well, be a random. My entire screen. Boom. <laughs> Presented. Good. Good. So, first we have the fantastic, then we have solid, then we have average, average and then. Okay, but why does this need, need to exist? And then what the hell is this garbage? <laughs> I can't guarantee that, that any map is gonna get into either of these two tiers, but who knows what's gonna happen. Alrighty then, the rules are simple, we take our opinions on the map. So, let's start out with the first chapter. Uh, Mountain Ranges. Remember Mountain Ranges, the first chapter? The Mountain Ranges. Do you remember it that looks, map? It looks... it's a nice... it's a nice map, I'd say. It's a yes. nice map. But I'll say it right now, it's definitely not one of the best maps. There are maps that are ultimately way better than this. It's number one... But what does make this map good, however... The story. To, the story is actually what actually gets quite dark, and we get introduced to the sorcerer and Baron, and, and the angel's prophecy, the corrupted prophecy, and all that, and the pages. Like a lot of the stories that introduced and set up, and eh, the rest of the series. You see, which is. Which, which. This is the most important first chapter we're probably ever gonna get from a Piggy Wheel Mode series ever. Or, sure, the ending cut seems about 10 minutes long, but at least it provides content. The map's around 50 minutes long, and I think I enjoy it, it because of, of the fact that it provides like, a lot of content for the player. However, what we're going to list some disadvantages of the map. First of all, Josh, let's see here your disadvantages, because you don't like mm, it. Well, I really don't know what to say with the disadvantages. I don't know... What disadvantages this map has, but... Oh, I'll tell you one. It's... Do you have any idea how freaking big this map is? It's the size of this stupid map. It can be confusing to know where the items are. Or if hmm. you don't have good memory. It's like... Yes, I can see that. But that doesn't change the fact that this map is... is what tier should we give it? We should give it a solid. Yeah, this is a solid map. It's definitely not a perfect map. There are maps that are way better than this, but it's still a very good map either way. Probably one of the best first chapters we're ever gonna get, hey? Alrighty then. We're gonna get chapter two. Let's get into chapter two. Oh boy, this is an exciting chapter. Josh, you get to go first, then. Yeah. Try to be as explicit well, as possible. Well, I can explain about this map that it's very interesting, but it's also very big. What do you like about the map, in particular? Well, the fact that it's big makes it interesting, I and guess. Well, it actually resembles a stadium. It looks like a real stadium, too. It's realistic. It's the fact that they're selling cheesy bacon fries, which, oh no, guys, 
We're doing cannibalism again. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> the the cannibals should be killed. <laughs> except in Piggy's case. Except for in Piggy's case, this is a good thing because she needs to burn in hell eternally. Because she needs nobody to be likes her. I, uh, Yes. Piggy, um, Piggy, whenever, whenever playing maps, it's it's, it's much better being sent to Brazil, or, or they managed a shadow realm, or <laughs> or something, or, or something. <laughs> Send Piggy to Brazil, or banish her, her to the shadow realm. Do something about it. Turn her into and turn her into pork. Um, All right, let's turn her not into forget. pork meat. <laughs> or All right, let's... make her bacon. All right, let's not forget the fact. That... That this map is where the sorcerer actually comes into contact with the player. And let's just say things don't go all too well. We also learned that the Baron was actually at birth, was actually childhood friends with John, which is actually very interesting. Like, who would have expected that, eh? Hey? Hmm. Well, there is no one that expected. But it is very does. unexpected. Guess what? The sorcerer does on his first encounter. He traps us in the studio, which is an employee's only room, and three of them locks the door behind us. So there's no way out. And as far as I'm aware, or as far as the players are aware, there's no other way out. Eh? So they have to look for the pages. They have to look for another page of the scroll, because that's the only option they have. Eh? The pages. They All exist. Right. Either way, Josh, do you think I think you can agree with me, right? That this map deserves uh, a fantastic. What do you I think? Guess you so. I guess. They think that damn near the perfect map. There's a damn near but there's a map that's even better that's coming up, eh? This map is not better than chapter twelve though. Chapter 12 is still a very good map either way. Already then, Studio. This is also the first yes, map that you helped out the with. The Studio of Randomness, I see. The now, Studio. Now, we to talk about it. it. All right, you can well, talk. The Studio gets an 8 out of 10. It is, it is a good map. And the only thing wrong with it is the amount of red. The amount of red burns my retinas. It makes my eyes burn. It irritates my eyes to the point where they, uh, they where they literally will become blind. <laughs> no, not that much, but still, the red. <laughs> it's it's a lot. It's a lot of red. If you do not like the color red, do not play this map. <laughs> but if you but on the Reddit, is, but let's get some plus sides about the map too. While we're at it, but not everything smells about this bad. Not everything about this map is bad, right? It, we're nice guys. We can give this map credit where credit to do. So why don't you start by giving this map a little bit of credit? Very what interesting is, design, I guess. Very interesting design. There's there's at least some some parts of the map where there's not as much red, at least. But we're gonna get some do and... interesting parts of the map, like the theater part of the map. Oh you actually... yes, the stage. The stage is very interesting. It's a very it's very backlit, and it looks like an actual stage. Yeah, and then we got the movie theater as well, which is. That is sick if you have a movie theater in your studio. That's actually awesome. You get to watch your own movies. You can see what you've created. Pretty cool. It's something that has been created. But, oh my god, the story to this map. Josh has said he does not like the story. And, he, and Josh even said that he hates the sorcerer this, this chapter. This is the chapter that made him hate the sorcerer. So, why don't you explain the story, because you see that it look quite well. John basically just got just got brainwashed, and now everybody is <laughs> screaming in pain because everybody, well, everybody hates the source now for, for brainwashing John. 
John, the source John, needs John, to die. <laughs> the John, also, John wouldn't just say bring a side character that was it was in it, the Piggy Bill Bill series. You gotta keep in mind that he was a very important character that had a lot of lore behind him, too. He was, he was so this is a big character to lose. And especially considering how smart John is, this is gonna cause some big problems later on, eh? We also get the return of Piggy in this map, too, where Baron states that he found the page Found another page to the Angel's Proxy for a to the scroll or whatever it's called in here. So basically, we have three pages now. We only need three more, right? Three more? And that would make, and that would make six pages. Yeah, that's halfway done. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. The pages don't actually think that you do collect in the map, right? Nah. They're just not as chill as all they are supposed to. Like, not even mind that we didn't want every map to be focused on it. Hey, we're just gonna get a page to the, to the school just to leave it. Like, no. no that, would just, that, would just, that would just make the story a lot less interesting, because what's there to stop you from, from getting the pages? We need something, we need a conflict. We don't have conflict, and we don't have a good story because, um, because a good story has a good conflict. And, <laughs> and how good is the conflict? Basic, it's basic narrative elements. You learn that in ELA class. <laughs> like literally. Yeah. Conflict. Like, the conflict in this map. And if there's nothing in your way, then that means you don't have a good conflict. Which, mm. This might actually provide good conflict, because the sorcerer is now becoming an, an even bigger threat to worry about. You're not even. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna need some random threat if it's not powerful at all. No. It's a lot more powerful than you think. We actually come to learn that later on. And it's not just some weak person, some weak giraffe. So, I think this map deserves. I believe it's a solid. It's gonna go right behind it, uh, chapter one. Yes, the map has a solid, and it's a solid within itself. It's very solid. It's so solid that it, that, it is it, that the solid. ice will not break. That the ice is so close to breaking that the ice it doesn't even want to break. Thank you. Thank you. It will break <laughs> if it melts, but. That's that's basically just, but it will it will not melt. Yeah, this map. Anyways. Yeah, this map was good, but is it worse than chapter one? Yes, yes, it kind of is. It's not exactly better than chapter one. Because of the red, you basically just be. If if you hated red, then you do not want to play this map because your eyes will burn. <laughs> your yeah, eyes will be, experience the most pain and suffering ever. <laughs> oh right, I forgot to mention something about this map. Piggy returns in this map too. Apparently, Baron stole Piggy, and basically at the end of the chapter, we're gonna be chasing after her to uh, the resort. <laughs> The story of this map is actually really good. It provides so much attention to what's going on. Now it's time for the Chapter next four. map. Chapter 4, your garbage. Go, go down there. there. Garbage? What makes no. you say that? I'm just kidding. What makes you say that? Because Chapter 4 was an auditorium with garbage. It just, you know. Oh, oh, I thought this would be garbage too, but you know I'm just kidding. This map is good. This map is so freaking good. Josh, why don't you explain? Well, it is a map. very good design. And a, there's even a new type of design introduced in this one. The window walls. With the windows. And there is a, a design in here. And that's what it is, basically. Yeah. The window walls actually look really nice. And the edited yeah. for, the, for this one is also good. 
They felt that was really damn good, eh? The chapter. But let's get to the story. We haven't even got to the story of the chapter. Because no boy. The story for the chapter. The ending group felt so much information that was not covered, eh? If you thought corruption was dark, when did you see the ending of this chapter? So, do you know what happened to the ending of this map, mm -hmm. eh? The ending. Yes. Well, Piggy runs away from you, of course. Piggy does not want to see you. Because Piggy... Because Piggy sees herself as a fool that cannot control her own actions. She, she basically... She basically is unable... To... Yeah, she's under some emotional stress right now. She's never going to walk in and then stress and trauma. Uh, after which, because she encounters a sorcerer, she basically said everything to about she said. Basically, she said everything. You know, the sorcerer? She said the sorcerer is that allowed him to take on control of Drafty's body, which she is a trauma, I'm funny. And now Piggy is running yeah. from existence. But yeah, you can tell that Piggy is actually very traumatized by what she did. She did a lot of things devoted. If she didn't brainwash Johnny, none of this would have happened. She doesn't. He, she just doesn't want to talk about it at all. Yeah, yeah, but she doesn't want to cause anyone any more guilt. She already has. But she can't just. But she can't run away from her actions because her actions are really gonna haunt her. But the, the sorcerer. Or yeah, something to do with Sandy. What did she reveal about the corruption, Josh? I don't know how long I did for you. About the mind well, game. The corruption. Well. The void. You got the void, remember? The void is basically where all discarded memories go, I believe. Yes. This is where all destructive worlds go. And then we yeah, also then have memory maze. The memory maze. maze, yes. The mm -hmm. memory maze. That will be later in another yeah. chapter. Yes, yeah, but Yes, yeah, memory maze. The memory maze that she basically plays at the void or the memory maze or just the mem the void needs to be a yeah, a place that's in the core of our minds. Basically, yeah, yeah, people, people are sent there to the memory maze to get reminded of their bad memories. To get reminded of their memories so that you can, can use them. To use the memories against them. To bring them to them. Teach them about them. Tell them about their best. Tell them what they're good at. Their best interests. Their, they use this to emotionally manipulate them into joining in the influence. Which is exactly what happened with giraffe, if you don't know. The giraffe. Here we have a giraffe that dies of um, of being brainwashed. No, he didn't die. He just yeah, he didn't die, but still. He, he can't exist anymore. Well, is there going to be a way to save this? David Jurassic. We don't know that. And the circus seems to be pretty powerful at this point. Yeah, so basically, the player tries to talk with Piggy and tries to read. The player The player just causes Piggy even more guilt. Tell them that she's really ashamed of what Piggy did. The player. Basically, yeah, everything she did was, everything Piggy did was far worse than the player could have ever imagined. And this just causes Piggy to run away, hey, from the player. And that's what happens to Piggy. Piggy runs away. Piggy gets, and, Piggy is just scared. <laughs> yeah. And then we, then Baron shows up saying, hey, you're worried about you. And we say that, we're just watching how they found it. Found how they found them the first place basically and 
the bear said, we did not worry about you. You didn't show up on my own. So we just, they, he said that he decided to look. He and the other side were working him himself. And so, basically, basically, we cut it. We go into the next scene where we chase after a pig again. And a lot more dark stuff happening. Well, at least for Bear right now. Basically, the sorcerer shows up yet again. But this time we did brainwash John. And of course, we know that John was a very best friend as a child, eh? But so this is gonna obviously traumatize him, eh? Well, that's just why. <laughs> just why does this have to even happen? Basically, the but, sort of the sort of got an even more of an issue now, though he isn't showing as much of a threat in this chapter because he doesn't really do much. It's mainly just focus on John. For the most part. Okay. Well, the story. That was yeah. the story, I guess. Well, no. Well, technically, a bear sacrifice himself. The player reveals that basically you know, the bear in the asset why the player would ever hide back to the boy. Hide the fact that John was spring watching it. Well you said I didn't want to hurt your feelings, and I didn't want you to know about this because I know you don't talk about it. Maybe they knew how much the bear spring would shit with John meant to him. So he just had a seat right. Which Yeah. Basically, Bear decides to sacrifice himself, but you know, he'll stay behind to fight that. It's a sorcerer. Or, sure, uh, allowing, uh, allowing the others to go behind the city in the other town. Which, that, why do you think that's a good idea, dear? What were you thinking? I mean, sure, I know you want to do good, eh? but nothing good's gonna come to you, especially when you're dealing with a silly little sorcerer. Oh my god. Where should we put this chapter? Hmm. Uh, I think it deserves the top of the solid list. What do you think? I guess it's a solid. Because it's, it's, it's a solid, I guess. It's alrighty a solid. Alrighty then. Josh, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Or the second to last chapter in the first half. Chapter 5, the rest of Alright, so you get to describe your thoughts on the map. Uh, it's doing fantastic. Aside from that, hey. That's it. it is like, very good because it has, it has a bit of modern architecture inside the buildings. It even has a pizza shop. It has a, a freeway. And it has a bridge. Same thing. Well, freeway is not necessarily bridge. It can be right. on bridge, but it is not necessarily bridge. Yeah. Basically, you got a bridge for the map. Then you got a pizza shop. You got a, you got a bank. You got a mini mall. You got another restaurant. Restrooms. You got souvenir shops. <laughs> and then you even got a seafood restaurant and an ice cream truck. And another beach. Not only that, mm -hmm. but you want to make this, this map stand out? The colors. Yes, the colors. The colors. There's, There's so many color that one. You won't go one blind from it. Enjoy the amount of color. And also, I just remembered the custom tree. I made a custom tree. <laughs> it's a little it freaking custom tree. <laughs> Shut yeah, up, Zoom. We're gonna have to do another. Wait, we don't even have to do another meeting. Because this one, we already have a Google meeting. There's no point, eh? Okay. You know what, Please. Zoom? You can die. Zoom, I am ending you. You can go die. I hate you. Haha, -ha, Zoom, get wrecked, sucker. Yeah, get wrecked. Nobody, nobody's gonna pay you money. <laughs> You know, Google Meet is way better, because guess what? We figured out a way to make it work, okay? Yes. And now, 
the you next want to, You want I'm moving chapter one to average. God, I don't care at all. No one. No one. Chapter one is still an average of that. Eh? But mm -hmm. we haven't even gotten to the story of chapter five yet. Because the story is pretty gamey on this one. So, Josh, I'm going to let you explain a little bit of the story here. Story. You should be able to handle it. You can do the whole thing. Basically, the the pl the player gets captured by the source, and oh, we, no. and it is contained inside of, um, and is contained inside it. No, all before that. That is not the full story. Well, I guess. They found player. they are chasing after player Pinky, and they found out that Pinky is dead. Well, still, they 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 run after Piggy. But then yeah. the source, um, but then the source catches them and captures the player. And no, uh, no, that's not the full story because we also learned that guess what? That apparently the sorcerer has been messing with Piggy's mind, which is explaining all this guilt she's been feeling. Well, I was just time. saying what was happening. I did, I didn't, I wasn't. Trying to say that part, but okay, I guess if you wanted that part to be in there. All right, let's get to the mind part. Let's get to the part where the sorcerer captures the player and can send them to their mind. Yes, into their mind, the equivalent of the shadow realm, but 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 the shadow realm is in another universe, I guess. Instead, all right, no, so you're gonna be explaining. Well, the source basically wants to destroy people, and he will not change his mind. Because but not only that, but he was, it's also revealed that he's also using a pyramid to get the angel's pages for the angel's prophecy. Why is he doing this? Well, that's what he's doing. The so reason he's doing and this is because he wants to figure out how to stop that player name. If he gets those pages, he'll go exactly out of stop box. Which, that isn't good, eh? That is bad. That is terrible. Somebody will die if that happens. Like a so I mean, is it really that dark that he's been using us the whole time we weren't aware of it? How dark is that? It's very, very dead, really. It's very, very dead, deadly, to to see that this is happening. And we didn't even know we were being deadly. There was no indication. Maybe that player is ashamed. But the sort of player that he... Basically, he gets a little hint that basically he's trying to, that basically the humans condone the violence to his kind. Which is a long time ago. At least one revenge ever since. We're gonna do a hint of that. And, Josh, you, you better explain the cliffhanger first. Yes, that's what I was, that's what I was getting to. So... After the player gets captured and put into this tiny containment unit, the um the uh, the John John the infected and brainwashed, mentally insane, freaking uh, freaking insane imbecile comes out of nowhere, and um and then proceeds to to oh, proceeds to. Uh, Josh, that's the end of chapter 5, the ending. You gotta mostly forgot the fact that, one, the sorcerer actually summons rubble in front of all the entrances. They can stab them in your cave. Yes, but they were trapped, basically. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter how they were trapped. They were trapped into the single room, and then John just was teleported in there, and uh, no, John was about to thing. murder the player. <laughs> He came in through the vent, remember? I guess. Who cares how he got there? 
he got there, and then he was about, he was seemingly about to kill the player. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but apparently, uh, this chapter, chapter five, and chapter five is such a good chapter. Not only because it has probably the darkest stories that a chapter will ever have, but because of the big cliffhanger, um, or, or and it's amazing this time. Stop yelling! Okay, hold on. All right. This chapter goes at the top of fantastic. What do you think? It is. It is fantastic. And then, and finally, then the last one. Finally. The last yeah. one. And we're gonna make this one uh, actually a long description because, you know, yeah. Get, no, it's not garbage. Stop it. It's not garbage. Why? Why? Do it. Get. God, it won't let me. In. You put it back, hey? You don't have to put it back, we can just move it from there. Alright, let's get to chapter 6. This chapter has two whole sections. One of which, which is the main office, and two is, um, um, the memory maze. Which, the memory maze, if you don't know, it was actually a thing in the corruption map. Basically, it was what was used to bring more traffic. Josh, when we talk about the beginning cutscene, explain the beginning cutscene. The beginning cutscene was basically, it's basically well, John saying say? he is going to, he is going to, he's kill going what? to try and destroy you or kill you or whatever is just going to happen to you, but he'll give you a head start since since you did something brought him closer to his friend, I guess. You got you got him closer to Bear, remember? Bear got brainwashed too, so we're now reunited again. I just time. noticed that was that was just that was just um some that was just foreshadowing as to what would happen later. <laughs> when like, we would find out that that Baron was the one. <laughs> I just noticed. Like, like is that so? Is that clever foreshadowing or what? It's a very clever. <laughs> it's very clever, and I didn't I, even notice. Yeah. Nobody even... really noticed. Nobody really notices. <laughs> Anyways. John gives us a head start. Basically. The reason why the bed is open at the beginning of the map is that John opened it for us. He let us out. And then he's gonna follow us, so what? It's a real story. Yes. But let's get to the design, Josh. You get to talk about the design first. The design is the design is good. Like, what do you like about that design? The favorite part of the map? Well, the design is just good. Let's talk about the storage room. The storage room is the first area you actually have to go to. Let me just say, the storage room is actually really well designed. It is a really good looking area. Uh, and there's also a new decoration to use too. A new design. And there are also existence of yeah. the designs. Yeah. There are actually a lot of new wall designs this map. A lot. There was a lot of new wall designs this map. Like with the little shell things that are in the storage room. And then they got the little wall. Then they got the walls with the staircase. With the stairs. You know, the back. The walls with the stairs and the shell. Yes. The you saw that, right? The walls with the stairs and the shelves. Yes. I but see that, that. Yes, that was a good looking design. Good. Yes. Good and also and also if you look on the if you're a hacker and you and you fly on top of the roof. Yeah. 
you see an experiment for a different, a, a new type of futuristic wall that we will probably be using at some point. Please don't, please don't hack, though. Please don't hack your way on top of the building. You do not want to do that, or else you will probably get kicked. It's probably some sort of anti-cheat system. Do not oh, hack. There's plenty of new uh, map design. There's plenty of map design in this map. Come on, the memory maze. Okay, I'm actually going to show the memory maze to you, Josh, since you haven't even seen it yet. I actually, I actually have seen it. But you haven't seen the full version of it. But this is it's interesting. The first part of the map is actually really well designed, but it's not better than Chapter 5. Yeah. So, alright, I'm gonna leave this in, what the hell is this garbage for now, and we're gonna go here, YouTube. Yes, time for you watching YouTube videos, and YouTube. seeing what YouTube has to exist. Oh, look, look at this video I published, YouTube needs the best, brought the faster, bruh. Look, what the look. hell is happening to YouTube? It is. I had a big look. What is? You what? had a video process for two days. That is just insane. Why? YouTube, you suck. Look at uploading. I mean, sure, your videos are interesting somewhat, but that long? No. Anyways. Uh, YouTube is really glitched, and that's what it is. Alrighty then, we also got the turret used. There's also a new artillery cannon introduced in the map too. It's a very useful piece of military technology that is used in Piggy. Yeah, and it's gonna be used in future maps. Look, we're even gonna show you a clip of it. Yeah. 